Okay, in this video we have Jorge of PrivateCigarBrands.com who is going to demonstrate the accordion method of doing the bunching. Now, just exactly what is the accordion method, Jorge, and, and how are you doing this? First, I need to say one thing. Have two different kind of accordion. You can confuse with, when say accordion with the accordion method or accordion bunch. Let me start from the beginning. Okay. This is the binder. In the Cuban factories, never, when I say never, is never, the binder come with the vein off. This is what I do here with the vein. In the Dominican Republic and in other countries, sometimes the, the binder come to the factory like this. We don't do it that way. And that's because they have a Despliadoras uh, section where they take the veins out? In the truth, I don't know the reason. Maybe it's because the vein, when it's the vein, spread out the water better in the, in the, in the, in the leaf. In the leaf. Okay, I put the, vein, the, the, the leaf here, the other leaf here. Okay. I take the ligero. The hero is the first leaf. Here, today. The second. And basically, you're folding this tobacco that would appear like, like an accordion. Like an accordion. And I try to make a, a triangle or a triangle or a circle. The idea is make space in the middle. Okay. And that's because you want a good draw. Yes. Seco. And the seco is the more mild tobacco? Yes. Yes, sir. The, the full body is the, the, the ligero. The, this, the second one is who make the balance. And the, and the, ligero, and the seco is the less uh, body, but have um, more... Um, more of a smoothness to it. Yes. It's a little lighter. Yes. It's it's a little bit lower on the plant. Yes. Okay. So I read it here. Okay. Almost uh, the um, all the bunches in the Cuban technique need to make an accordion again here. This kind of accordion. But we are talking now the technique of make the bunch. Accordion in the leaf, not accordion in the bunch. It's two, two different accordions. When I make entubado, I need to make accordion again. If don't make the accordion, can't smoke. The cigars not have, it's not making the right way. So, it's a, it's a little confusion between the accordion technique with the leaf with accordion technique in the bunch. Okay, got it. All right. You got it? Two different things. Thank you very much for explaining that. And also for demonstrating the idea that you do need to have air if you're going to get a great draw on your cigar. You need to have that accordion bunch uh, as part of the overall filler that you're putting together here. I know because I, it's, it's, it's part of my, my skill. No, in my mind, how much tobacco I need for each size of cigar. In this case, we are going to make 50 ring gate. We're going to make a shorter... Uh, uh, total size. Each toba each tobacco leaf I cut, I take back, and I try to make in compensation of each part uh, the, the the cigar or the body of the cigar. In other I words, can put you, all you, the tobacco in one corner. No? Yeah, I you you want it to be even throughout the entire yes. length of I the cigar. I make this time by time. And I feel I need a little more. You see? Yeah. I can do that. Because I have a big main. So I take another piece. And another one. Because I need more. I 
try to don't make this. Many people who have no experience roll the bunch like this. You see? Yeah. Here, when the, the cigar roll, the, the smoker going to smoke the cigars, make it like a knife. Because the cigar, the, 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 the air don't go straight. Okay. So, the idea is if I roll with this hand, that way, with this hand, I try to have it even. even. So the other way, could that be a cause as to why a cigar would burn up one side? Because it wasn't rolled, uh, the bunch wasn't prepared properly. Yes, sometimes. One well, of the many reasons. Okay, I cut. Some people don't do it that way. Some people do it that, this way. Cut. Cut. And you're using your chevetta there just to cut off the final little edges. Yeah, but some and some people in the Dominican Republic, even in Cuba, use the machine cut for make this cutter. I don't say it's right or not. It's personal preference. The right way when I when where I learn uh, with the masters is use, use the chevetta. chevetta. Use the chevetta. And make some slice cut for make the cigar in the head circle. You see? Got it, yeah. Okay. Now I put the bunch in the mold. So now from this process you would fill up there are ten slots in that mold, you would fill up all ten slots and then put the lid on. And you would use what, maybe fill up like five of these and then you put it under a vice grip and that's how you roller, get the... Yeah, a cigar roller usually use around five moles, no more. My, about five moles under the vice grip. And then how long does it take for the cigar to get its shape? Around 20 minutes each size. Because remember, this mold, this mold being pressed in the press for like, I told you, 20 minutes. After that, or 30 minutes. After that, I need to come and turn back. If you see, it's just stay one minute and you see the... It's like a seam. Like a seam. So I need to take and come back and turn around and put the game back. So you actually press. put it in the molds twice and press it twice. Twice. Okay. And now we have the accordion style of bunching and this is demonstrated by Jorge Gonzalez Pardo of PrivateCigarBrands.com and look for our next video where we will get into the book style of bunching. Thank you very much, Jorge.